Good day. It's a beautiful day in Houston, Texas. This is Rodney C. Mays, your tax professional at Tax Defense USA. Today we will be talking about the Tax Cut and Job Act. This is the most aggressive tax laws that have come about within the last 30 years. The Tax Cut and Job Act became law on December the 27th, 2017. This sweeping legislation represents the broadest reform of U.S. tax laws in over 30 years and will affect individuals and businesses across the country. Most of the provision in the TCJA became effective in 2018. Therefore, you tax professionals and tax preparers, uh, these are the new laws that you're going to have to get ready for uh, and you have to talk with your clients about. Okay, income taxes, income tax returns, filing date. Uh, the deadline is April 15th. It's extended uh, in the in the city of Maine and Massachusetts until April 17th uh, because of Patriot Day in those states. Emanci Emancipation Day in Washington, D.C. extends the deadline until uh, your extension until October the 15th. You all know that you can file a, a, a 4846 and be able to get an extension uh, on your tax return. Just because you get an extension on your tax return, that don't mean penalties uh, uh, would not apply. So keep in mind, if you file an extension, that uh, uh, interest on monies that are due are still uh, due to the IRS. In 2018, personal and dependence exemption. You can no longer, as of 2018 through 2025, up under the Tax Cut and Job Act, uh, file exemptions. The exemption amount is zero. Uh, the ability to claim an exemption may make taxpayers eligible for other tax benefits. So just because you're not no longer able to claim exemptions on your tax return, uh, it, it, it may not uh, disqualify you from claiming other uh, monies. The good thing about the uh, TCJA, uh, the, the uh, Tax Cut and Job Act, the standard deduction. The standard deduction for married filing jointly a qualified widow is twenty four thousand. An additional uh, thirteen hundred if you age sixty five or or older or blind. So you you just know you got the twenty four plus the thirteen hundred uh, if you're blind or if you're sixty five or older. Uh, married filing uh, separate is 12000 for the standard deduction. Uh, 65 or older or blind, you get an additional uh, 1300 with that $12,000. Uh, okay, head of household. Head of household qualifies in the standard deduction for 18000 Okay, single, single get half of the amount that uh, married file and separate, which is $12,000 uh, deduction. Okay, uh, dependent of another taxpayer. Now, dependent of another is like a college student or a child who you have who works and, and you can claim them on your tax return, but also they're going to file their own tax return. So you definitely want to make sure you, uh, and that, that dependent of another is anyone who makes greater than uh, $1,050 or earn income credit plus $350, or $12,000, pretty much, you know, the, the standard. Okay, the uh, gross income threshold. Gross income threshold is very, very important. And remember, the gross uh, uh, income thres filing threshold is the same as the standard deduction. So that would be the $12,000 for single. Uh, head of household, that would be 18000 Married filing jointly is 24000 and married filing separate uh, 
is uh, twelve thousand as uh, qualifying widow also is twenty four thousand. So we definitely want to be able to know the threshold for uh, the upcoming tax season twenty nineteen is what we're getting ready for. So the tax cutting job acts cover those those particular uh, areas. Okay, contribution. Uh, limit to traditional IRAs. Now, remember, traditional IRAs, Roth IRAs, you know, now there is a, a the Roth and the traditional IRA is 5500 unless you're doing catch-up contributions uh, if you're age 50 or older. So if you're 50 or older, you can uh, be able to put into your IRA 6500 uh, instead of 5500 the phase out contribution for an individual uh, married filing jointly is one hundred and ninety nine thousand. So you pretty much got them anything over one hundred and ninety nine thousand. You pretty much have to uh, you'll be eliminated from uh, putting that type of money into your IRA. Okay, you have four types of IRA. You know, you have the traditional IRA, you have the Roth IRA. The Roth IRA really is the best IRA you can get. You have the simple, uh, I mean, and the simple IRA, you know, three that you would deal with in that case. IRAs conversion from traditional IRAs to Roth are allowed after enhancement of the Tax Cut Job Act. So you can be able to convert your uh, IRAs over, your, your traditional to a Roth. Roth is uh, tax deferred, uh, and that's one of the good reasons to convert it over to uh, a Roth IRA. Uh, a state and trust exempts amount. So if you have a trust or a living trust, you know that the exempt amount is 600 So if you make 600 and less, you really don't have to file it. Okay, a simple trust is three hundred. A complex trust is one is one hundred. Okay, twenty eighteen a state and gift tax exclusion. You know, it's with the uh, tax cut and job act. You gonna cover a lot, a lot of information about changes uh, from twenty seventeen and twenty sixteen. So you definitely wanna. Uh, uh, not too many of you are going to be dealing with the, with the state and gift tax, but the annual exclusion for the, for 2018 uh, gifts is 15,000. Okay, the lifetime non citizen citizen marital uh, thresholds for gift taxes is 152,000. A state and gift tax exclusion is 11,180,000. Okay. Generation skip transfer tax exempt is eleven thousand one hundred and eighty, and that's the so that's the same with a state and gift taxes exclusion. Applicable credit is four million four hundred and seventeen thousand uh, and eight hundred dollars. Okay, the maximum compensation subject to FISA. FISA uh, uh, is your you know, your taxes that are coming out of your withholdings, okay? Uh, and that tax rate is 12.4% for self-employed people, 6.2% for employees, okay? Your medical taxes, something you should know, 2018 is 2.9% for self-employed and 1.45% for employed. Additional medical uh, care taxes, 0.9%. That tax is imposed on earned income for higher income taxpayers. Okay, that means you've uh, 250,000 filing uh, jointly, 125, thousand for a single and two hundred thousand uh I mean married filing separate and two hundred thousand for head of household. Okay. Some of you don't get into an inve investments but uh the investment income tax, the net investment income tax rate, 
okay? The tax is lesser of 3.8% of your net investment income or the amount of modified adjusted gross income over the following threshold. You know, we talked about the threshold of 200000 uh, for single, married, filed, and jointly, uh, 250000 250000 for qualified widower and uh, married, filing separate, $125,000, uh, state and trust, $12,500. Very important for self-employed people who claim mileage on their uh, tax return. Uh, so you definitely want to know mileage has went up. Uh, uh, business miles are 54.5% per mile. Charitable, when you do things for the church and, and, and nonprofit organization, 501, 501c3, uh, you can write that off. Charitable uh, contributions or charitable uh, uh, volunteer work. So you would be able to do 14 cents on the mile for charitable. And medical and moving is 18 cents. Now, moving is no longer a, 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 a deductible. A deduction uh, only if you are a military individual and uh, you, you are dealing with active duty uh, in the military so uh, long-term care premium maximum premium now that HSAs or something we want to really really get into uh, but not we're gonna say that for another uh, uh, video uh, to show you how the benefits of having a long-term health care premium would benefit you and save you a lot of money, okay? So the the, the premium, long-term care premium, age 40 and under is 420, uh, 41 and to 50 is 780, 50 to 60, and it goes up to 71 or over is 5,200, okay? Critics and exclusions now some of that we're going to get deeper into but it changed over the over the period so uh you know the credits are the child tax credit it, it's two thousand per qualifying child okay two thousand per qualifying child other dependent credit five hundred dollars there's no refundable portion Foreign income exclusion. Now, some of you who work overseas and you with a company that uh, keeps you out of the country and you work overseas, you can exclude 103900 of that money.